Hey there, welcome to Technability. I'm Berge. We have a Galaxy Express, Samsung Galaxy Express for AT&T, running Android Jelly Bean 4.3, stock CM 10.2. So this thing is running on the latest and greatest of Android Jelly Bean, and of course the latest and greatest of CM 10.2. So I recently did a video uh, showcasing CM 10.1, 4.2.2 on this device, and I realized that there was an unofficial build of... Uh, CM 10.2 4.3 so I went ahead and installed it uh, just to see if there was any subtle differences thus far honestly I haven't noticed many I know there's the whole OpenGL GPU acceleration and whatnot but the thing with CM 10 and specifically CM 10.1 4.2.2 it's that it's super blazing fast so really uh, you're not going to get much of a difference in speed uh, in this regard now we can go ahead and look at the camera here right off the bat see the flash works all right, let's go ahead and see what we have here. We have panorama. We don't have photosphere, but we have panorama, video, and... Okay, see, so the video just crashed. I don't know why the video crashed. Let's try that again. All right, now the video's working. So I had the video crash there for a second, but you can see right here I'm recording video. It's recording perfectly fine. If I stop it, swipe over, I got my video. For a second, but you can see right here I'm recording video. It's recording... All right. Um, I could share the video, obviously. Same with the photo. I could share the photo, go to see all, and you can have third-party app sync right there. And obviously, you also have uh, the various customizations that come with CM10, and that basically ranges from home screen options, from grid size, default screen, stretch screen, basically to fit the aspect ratio, or expand the home screen to fit the size of the display. You got hide icon labels, transition effects. If I go ahead and change that to let's say cylinder in, actually, you know what? Let's go ahead and change transition effects to none, actually, because it was on zoom in. All right, you got wallpaper size, fade in, fade in screens. You got app drawer settings, orientation settings. I mean, you got a ton of settings here with CM10. Uh, basically, it's all over the place with settings. You also have lock screen uh, customizations, screen security, including face unlock. Uh, you got other uh, lock screen options such as you know customizing the widgets and whatnot. Uh, you also have, of course, themes which you could download from the Play Store. There's plenty of them for free. Check those out. Just type in CM10 themes, and you got interface options. So this used to be uh, under System, so now it looks like they've changed it to Interface. If you've used CM in the past, that was under System. Now it's Interface. So you got status bar options. So I can go ahead and make this a small AMPM. I could put the percentage with the circle in the battery. You can see right there. All right, so you got op uh, options to do that. You got notification drawer uh, settings, expanded desktop. And of course, you have all the other stock settings. Now, if you want to access developer options, just go here. Because right off the bat, when you first flash, you're not going to get the developer options. Uh, go ahead and scroll all the way down. Uh, and keep clicking on build number. And you will have enable developer settings. Now, do not c consistently click right here where it says SE Linux status. Uh, your phone will freeze. It will require a battery uh, removal to reboot it. So now you can see right there, I have the developer options. All the you know transition animation scale, etc. Window animation scale, and if you change these to 0.5, you'll notice the speed increase in your device. However, to get into speed increase of this device, it is super fast, blazing fast. Everything is just super quick to respond. You can see right here. Let's say I take this icon right here, I create a folder, name the folder, um, etc. I can go ahead and open messages here. Okay, you can see. Hey, how are you today? Exit out. All right, check my notifications. You got the quick settings, which are customizable as well. The quick settings panel right here, so that's customizable. Uh, you got the notification. If I use two fingers, I can get the quick settings. Multitask. Instead of doing them one by one, click right there, and you can actually close them out all at once. It's a very stable build. Uh, everything seems to work perfectly fine. GPS. I had some issues with Wi-Fi locking in, but uh, you know, it's something that they're looking into. This was the recent 831 build, so it is the latest build of the unofficial CM10 for the Galaxy Express i437. Here you see CM's camera focal. You can see how it takes photos there. All right, you can see I could swipe down from the top to check out the photo. I could swipe it down. Nothing happens. Swipe it up. Nothing happens. Swipe to the left or right, and you get the rest of your photos. Let's exit out of there. You got uh, CM's file manager, of course. It's very useful. You have their uh, Apollo, which is their music player, solid. And you get other features like advanced settings, which you can mess with the sensors, the haptic feedback, uh, sound, the screen, um, outdoor mode scenario, negative mode, screen color, temperature. So you have various op options there as well. And obviously, you get all the Google apps, but you do need to download and flash gaps separately, which I'll post a link below of you know how to flash this exactly. I'll post a link to technability.com give you guys a step-by-step how-to of how to root your phone, your Galaxy Express uh, AT&T model, not the international model, and how to download and flash CM10, CM10.1 or CM10.2. 
you got G Plus Photos, again, all the Google apps. Uh, you can also just download the apps manually yourself in the Play Store. But I believe you do have Hangouts. No, you don't have Hangouts, so you'll have to download that manually in the Play Store, among other apps, which I like better. I like the, uh, to give to be given the option to be to be able to download apps as opposed to them imposing these apps on us. However, Google services I don't consider bloatware. Majority of the time they're useful, but carrier bloatware that's a different story altogether. Obviously, you have the common you know CM10 dialer here. Okay. Uh, the contacts, which I have no contacts here set up. Uh, you have the music widget. If I take another widget here, say analog clock, and I could set it here, I could resize it. I could resize it. I can also just move it around here. You can see how that works. All right, the gallery is pretty simple. All right, so if I hold down the menu button, you get search. If I hold down the back button, nothing. Obviously, hold down home button. You get multitasking, and you also have Google now. You have search. You can remove that, by the way, the persistent search bar. So that's not always there if you don't want it there. And uh, everything else is pretty much, you know, good to go in terms of signage and mod. I just wanted to go ahead and go. I just wanted to go ahead and show you guys that the Galaxy Express, despite the fact that out of the box it's still on ICS, some of them have been updated to Jelly Bean. Uh, you can manually update it to stock Android, and this right here is as pure as it gets. However, with all of the great CM customizations and features. Now, if you want to, again, if you want to uh, figure out or if you want to go ahead and download this ROM and flash it on your Galaxy Express for AT&T, I'll go ahead and post a how-to at technability.com in the description below with all the links and necessary downloads. Uh, if you have any questions, go ahead and ask me in the comment section. Otherwise, thank you for watching Technability. Don't forget to subscribe. And, of course, check out www.technability.com. We have original updated content there every day, updated every day, guys, with original stuff. Check that out, reviews, comparisons, uh, entertainment and opinion pieces, podcasts, we got everything. And also check out our Kickstarter. I'll post a link below to our Kickstarter project. We're trying to raise some funds to be able to expand technability to the next level. Also, I'll post that below. You can check that out at our Kickstarter page. Otherwise, again, thank you guys for watching. This is CM10.2 for the Galaxy Express for AT&T. I am Barrage. Have a nice day.